Alrighty, everybody. So the topic today is aspiration. When you're doing an intramuscular injection, do you need to do it? Uh, aspiration itself is the practice of pulling back on the needle plunger before you inject the medication. So that would be like this. You have your needle, you stick and then you pull back to see if you get blood return here before you inject. The idea behind it originally was that this would help prevent you from injecting medication directly into a vein. However, this is old practice. This has been pretty much disproven over time to even be a real concern. The World Health Organization no longer recommends aspiration technique whenever you're performing uh, injections anymore. Uh, because there are so many things that have to fall into the right place for it to actually get into a vein in the proper angle and then be able to inject it. And then there's vasospasm that the vein will do whenever it senses a caustic material coming into it. So it would then pull away from the offending material uh, to protect itself. So all of these things put together make it highly unlikely that you're actually going to inject medication fully into a vein whenever you're doing your uh, intramuscular injections. Uh, and even if you did um, inject that, what you're going to get is some lightheadedness, hotness, and you pretty much wasted your injection um, because it's not going to go into the muscle or the fat where it would then form a crystallized depot to slowly break down over time. Essentially, you would have just like blown it through. Your kidneys and everything would uh, metabolize it out and you'd just get rid of it. So kind of a wasted injection, but that's like a... <laughs> one in a million chance of happening, you know, better chance of getting struck by lightning. So the end result is the technique of aspirating or pulling back on the plunger during your injection process is no longer recommended. So this is not something you need to worry about. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, but I stuck myself and all this blood came out. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you did put a needle through your skin and you're going to have some capillaries and stuff that run very close to the surface that you could nick on your way down. And then whenever you pull out, you essentially pulled the plunger out from what was holding it in and then it's going to leak out. So, I mean, that's always a possibility with any injection. Uh, that you could bleed. It's just kind of the luck of the draw. Some people bleed easier than others. Uh, some people never really see anything happen. Uh, some people just bruise because it bleeds under the skin instead of coming to the surface. But at any rate, aspiration or pulling back on the plunger is not necessary, uh, not recommended. In fact, uh, what probably does happen whenever you do that, whenever you pull back like that, it creates suction on the tissues that you just stabbed with a needle which injures the tissues even more, which can cause more tissue damage, more bruising, whatnot. So uh, anyways, just wanted to put your mind at ease. You do not have to pull back or aspirate when doing an injection. Don't worry so much about it. You're thinking too hard.